because it is too cold outside, I thought I would bring some of my projects inside. Actually, I already had them set up here, and I just want to share with you a few things that I have learned through some staining processes. First of all, you think, okay, staining inside, that's gotta be terrible. You know, where do you do it? How do you set up? I learned from a fellow artist that you take uh, wax paper or freezer wrap paper, whatever you wanna call it, and you use this as your tablecloth. This is going to prevent the stains from going through, getting onto your furniture or whatever it is you're using. So first of all, you're gonna see that I got two pieces. I got them laid out like I want them. I'm working on some projects here. I have to kind of keep them separated because I have different cuts per sign and I don't want to confuse them. So um, rubber gloves, when you're working with stains, you can get a package. I think it's almost a hundred in a pack at Lowe's. I think I paid about 10 bucks something and they're not expensive. These are disposable. Why wash them, deal with them. They're kind of like the surgeon gloves. I have my board, I have my stain. You can either dip your rag. I take a rag. You can either dip it in there, but because it's such a small can, I like to take a sponge brush. And this sponge brush, I got a package of 25 from Amazon for again, about $10. So I really got my savings. Again, I'm gonna throw it away later. I have disposable uh, wax paper. I have a disposable rag, disposable gloves, and a disposable brush. If you're going to use the brush for uh, certain types of paints, you can clean it and reuse it, but for stain, I don't even try. I don't even worry with that. But this works real good with going in, getting the stain I want, and I just kind of smear it all over my board. Doesn't have to be pretty, because right now I just want to put it on there. Then I can take my rag, and as I rub my stain in, you're going to see it kind of spreads. I'm getting it all over my hands, which is no big deal because, again, it's disposable gloves. This wood is soaking in really good. So I'll just come back and put a little heavier. For the most part, I try not to go too many sides at one time because I do want to be able to spread it out really good. Staining is not really messy. I do have on some really nice clothes to do this in, and I should not, but that's okay because I take my time. As long as I'm not touching myself with my gloves, I'm okay. Then I like to do the ends. This I kind of do have to put a little bit extra with my brush because that will soak it in. It's not as easy to, to rub, but I do like to wipe it off, and it dries really quickly. I can leave that piece to go with that one. I'm going to stain the one that says Be Mine. So as you can tell, you don't always have to work in the garage. I work a lot in the kitchen, but today I had this project set up in here where it was, I was doing the different cuts. I was trying to figure out what went with what, how to make it work. It's kind of using some scrap material as my framework. I didn't want them all to look the same, so I did a little framework. I'm probably going to paint some of the uh, frames, maybe a white or a red. As you can tell, they're all Valentine-y. And this one went with that side. But some I did want some stains. But I really wanted to just kind of share with you that, you know, don't be afraid to bring a project inside. As long as you've got your cuts, I actually have heard people using saws inside. If you're willing to clean up the, the dust factor, you go for it. But for me, I don't mind pulling a project inside if it's staining or painting. As long as it's a small one, because staining does, does have a smell. I don't use a lot of strong smelling paints like a wall paint or something. Mine are chalk paints or acrylics and they're for smaller projects. Anything much bigger, I would keep it outside for the fresh air. But you could open a window or something, turn on a fan. You don't want too much paint fumes. It's not good for you. 
So just a few tips, like I said, uh, you want, same if I start to paint, I will grab another brush and I will use it. Uh, I will replace my gloves with acrylics or chalk paint. I really don't have to wear gloves. It just would vary. I mainly wear them for staining like I've done today. So I will end here, but just remember you want to go get, it's really inexpensive, wax paper or freezer paper, gloves, disposable, because I really just don't think you're gonna be able to use them afterwards. You've got disposable rags, cloth rags, shop rags, whatever you wanna use. I don't recommend washing them. It's just really not worth the time and effort tearing up your wash machine. And again, you can get these at any hardware store, Lowe's for the sponges, this is the one inch. Work real good going into the smaller cans, but at the same time, you can throw it away. Probably spend a few, few pennies to do this project inside, and I'm comfortable and can watch TV. Hope you enjoyed it.